New airplane conceptual designs in development after coronavirus. Few industries were disrupted by the coronavirus pandemic like the commercial airlines business, in part because of travel restrictions around the world set to avoid spreading the disease from one country to another, but also because of the high risk of contagion imposed by being in an enclosed space surrounded by people, which makes it almost impossible to keep social distancing. As a consequence, the average person is very much afraid of getting on a plane and airlines know it. So they've been pushing manufacturers and their R&D departments to come up with ways to make flying safe again. In this video, we'll cover some of the most promising conceptual airplane designs currently under development that seek to keep us safe from virus spread while in the air, even if a cure or vaccine is never found. You'll see some predictable solutions and some very clever workarounds that will leave you gapping. But before we embark, support our channel by giving us a like, subscribing, and hitting that notifications bell for more videos. Let's begin. What are the real risks of flying before a vaccine? If you haven't been living under a rock throughout 2020, then you know that the coronavirus spreads mainly by inhaling tiny water droplets expelled by infected people when they talk, sneeze, or cough. It can also infect us when virus particles reach our eyes, nose, or mouth when we touch contaminated surfaces and then touch our face. Most experts agree that the surefire way to avoid contagion is to keep a minimum of six feet apart from each other, as that's how far most water droplets can travel before falling on the floor or on other surfaces, and to wear a mask whenever around other people. Recent researches have even included the real possibility of airborne virus spread. Social distancing and masks may sound great in theory, but when you think about boarding a plane, you immediately realize that it is nearly impossible to keep social distancing, which means that you can easily catch the virus from the person sitting next to you. Precisely because of this great danger, in addition to preventing people from bringing virus from place to place, immediate grounding of all commercial aircraft was one of the first measures implemented by governments all around the world in an attempt to stop or slow the spread of the disease. A drop from nearly 2 million daily passengers in March to less than 100,000 in April is a testament to this, and the very slow recovery of the number of daily passengers proves just how scared we are of flying again. And we should be. What are airlines currently doing to keep passengers safe and regain their trust? All businesses are trying to adapt to the new normal. Airlines are among the ones that have had it the worst. Besides implementing strict sanitary measures, mandatory face masks, and passenger temperature screening in an attempt to recover, big names like Southwest Airlines announced that they would intentionally block out all middle seats from being booked in order to allow more space in between passengers. That may have been proven to be viable at the beginning when there was less demand, but passengers soon noticed that even while middle seats were left empty, many popular flights are still packed with passengers in front of and behind one another. Questions were raised, questioning if simply leaving empty middle seats is truly enough as the solution, or do we need to redesign planes from the ground up to make them safer? Keep watching this video to find out. How effective are empty middle seats? The empty middle seats turned out to be more hype than anything else, as it only produces a marginal decrease in the chances of catching the virus. You see, the bigger water droplets only travel as far as six feet, but when we talk, cough, or sneeze, we also produce a much finer mist that lingers in the air much longer and doesn't fall to the ground. Because of the way air moves inside the cabin of a commercial airliner, these particles are actually pushed upwards and to the sides by the flow of air, spreading it much further away than to the person right next to you, as a study by a Purdue University's professor pointed out. The worst part of it all is that removing the middle seats reduces the plane's capacity by one-third in some cases, which can produce an increase in the price of the ticket of around 50% to offset airlines' costs. So we'll end up paying a lot more to fly, but our chances of becoming sick only marginally improve. In other words, it doesn't work. Thankfully, many different design companies have set out to tackle the issue. 
and have come up with some clever ways to really improve in-flight safety without reducing passenger density or causing a dramatic increase in price. You won't want to miss some of these new concepts, so don't take your eyes off the screen. Flying in a bubble. This is probably one of the best conceptual designs on this list in terms of effectiveness. Concept is as simple as it gets. You don't want any invisible particles falling on you, right? Then isolate yourself in a full body plastic bubble. The only problem will be the feeling of claustrophobia once inside, but if you can manage that, you're good to go. Transparent plastic screens or cardboard dividers between seats. Granted that it's not a disruptive design set to change the airplane interior design industry, this is a simple solution for a very big problem. The company Avio Interiors developed its glass safe concept, specially designed plastic screens that can be easily and cost effectively installed in most commercial airlines without important structural changes to the seats. The concept is simple and straightforward, simply aiming to physically shield one passenger from the next with a hard plastic barrier. Many other design firms have tried the same approach, including Lufthansa Techniques Polycarbonate Dividers, Aviation Glasses Glass Shields, and Autostop Aviation's Passenger Protection Screens, to name a few. Clip-In Air Shield this is a very clever solution taken directly from biosafety cabinets in laboratories. It works on the principle of creating a barrier of flowing air around you that pushes down any particles that get near so that they never reach your face. It's a very cheap piece of plastic that clips into the air vent above your seat, so it doesn't require any mods to the cabin at all. Reversed Middle Seat this concept is definitely more groundbreaking. Avio Interiors is again responsible for this new concept, in which instead of removing or leaving the middle seat empty, they place it facing backwards and a single winding plexiglass screen is used to physically isolate aisle passengers from the middleman. The company hopes to be able to get airlines to test their system soon, as it is a much more effective way of keeping passengers apart without reducing the total number of seats. Could this be how the new cabins on all airplanes will look in one or two years? We'll just have to wait and see. Molo Lab Design Headrest with Venting Air Shield Working on a similar principle as the clip-in air shield, this seat design incorporates air vents into the headrest that provide protection against any particles that could reach your face. It's a much more expensive system to install, and it may not be as practical as the air shield, but it's still a creative concept. Double Decker Seating Concept Zephyr Aerospace created a concept seat design for commercial aircraft called Zephyr Seat. Originally intended to provide a more comfortable sleeping experience for economy class passengers on long haul flights, the concept involves retrofitting a seat on top of another, creating a double decker seating arrangement that fits into a regular sized cabin. Space is cleverly utilized in a way that incidentally dramatically increases the average distance between passengers in economy class which could turn out to be the perfect solution to sleepless flights and corona-safe air travel. Compared to the reversed middle seat concept, this one is much more expensive to install and requires heavy modifications to the cabin, but it can also be much more effective against coronavirus. It provides more than one benefit and it's also quite disruptive, which customers tend to love. Way to go, Zephyr! Modifying the interior design of the cabin is the only real alternative we have today. But what about an entirely new concept aircraft that is designed from the ground up to prevent the spread of infectious diseases? Think about it for a sec. And while you do, take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You'll be glad you did. Now let's carry on with our list. KLM's Flying V Project. Okay, so the Flying V project developed by Delft for Dutch carrier KLM didn't really stem from the coronavirus pandemic as it's been under development for years and it was unveiled in October 2019 before we were hit by the Rona. However, apart from superior fuel efficiency, this revolutionary all-wing, no-fuselage design has another key advantage over a jet of the same wingspan that can make it safer to fly amidst a pandemic. It's got way more space. 
This is where Corona discussion comes in. The designers made the conscious decision to keep the same number of seats as a regular jet airliner, even though a lot more seats fit inside, therefore giving each single passenger more space. They're also working on different seat designs, but if they were to outfit these beauties with the double decker shown a little while ago, we could have a winner against coronavirus for those long transatlantic flights. There are other conceptual designs that provide similar benefits to the Flying V in terms of space, but this one is the coolest by far. However, there's one obvious way to give passengers absolute peace of mind when in the air. Can you guess what it is? Concept Private Aircrafts Now, this solution is not for the average person, as it's reserved only for the high rollers out there. What do you do if you don't want to mingle with the people on a plane? You get yourself a personal private plane, like the Terra Fusia TFX car plane hybrid, or an Air SpaceX, which is a concept autonomous drone-like vehicle that will pick you up and drop you off as easy as calling an Uber. If you've got the cash, you can also get yourself a classier Aston Martin Vision VTOL, another autonomous drone that can take off and land vertically, but with a lot more style. Any one of these choices will keep you and your loved ones safe from coronavirus as you comfortably cruise over the average Joe. A Japanese company called Skydive has just tested a single-seat prototype for its electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, aka a flying car, at Toyota Test Field. The SD-03 can land in a spot the size of two parking spaces and in its production form will seat two, one of whom will be a pilot. Which of these designs surprised you the most, and which one's simply too far-fetched? Do you think that we'll ever fly as much as we used to if we don't find a cure or a working vaccine? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below and join the discussion. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and hit the notifications bell for new videos. Thanks for watching.